guys Ogs here from the US welcome to the channel and thank you for watching I know you guys are waiting for me to show my face today as promised but let me say thank you thank you for your love and support thank you for 50k thank you for trusting the man behind the voice you didn't care about my French accent you didn't care about my broken English you showed me love and support. I am so humbled and I don't even know what to say. 50k and counting. Wow, you guys are legend. Absolutely legend. Can you imagine us filling up Stamford Bridge and more? Because Stamford Bridge is only about uh, 41 to 42k and we hear 50 and counting by the time you watch this video it's gonna be maybe 51,000. wow guys this is huge this is big this is a great community and i really appreciate that short story about the channel it started last year 2019 around march i started uploading few videos on my personal account because if you have a gmail account you already have a youtube channel so at the time i wanted to get my frustration out there because i didn't want to get to my family we were losing a lot of games i was so angry and i just wanted to get on somebody and i decided just to talk to myself pretty much okay recording my frustration and uploading on youtube and i didn't have many people watching really because it was a bunch of crap and i somehow had five friends subscribed to my channel and then with those five friends it was about like three months without any other sub in the channel and then when uh, frank lampard rumor comes out I started getting few people here and there and we got to 10 subs. I was very very happy to have 10 people watching my videos and until then I didn't take anything seriously. I didn't even think about making a YouTube video or getting serious but the day Frank Lampard was appointed as a Chelsea manager something happened. I made a video and it went viral many people watched that video and all of a sudden I had over 100 subs of course I was like oh my gosh in just one day so from that day the day Frank Lampard was appointed I decided to make it a YouTube channel I changed the name and I will tell you the why it's called the green turf and all that I'm gonna make it in a longer video so you can see me explaining all that but hey the journey been amazing I can't believe where we are at the moment so why am I not showing my face today well it's simple I'm not home I am in Atlanta Georgia I live in Kentucky but I'm here for work I work with an insurance company and I'm here to evaluate some claims everybody knows what's going on here in america with all the trouble and we have a lot of insurance claim and i have to be on the field to evaluate those claims in order to pay people their money i'm not gonna say much because that's what i do for a living that is my job i don't want to make a poor video a selfie video from my hotel room it's gonna be a very poor quality and i want to make a, a good impression it's my first video on youtube so i want to be in a good environment i want to be home i want somebody to record me you know so i i don't feel comfortable doing a selfie video from my hotel room but very soon i am going to make a good short video to introduce myself to youtube and it's gonna be very very soon as soon as i get home everything will be done 
This is not an excuse, but it's a promise. I didn't expect to get 50k that quickly. I didn't plan anything. And for some reason, in the last couple days, I got about 2,000 subs. I don't understand what's going on with me, but I can't complain for having subs. God is good. I'm not doing anything special. People just appreciate what I do. So I am going to make a video next week probably when we get done with work here in Atlanta and I go back to the promised land of Kentucky. So don't worry guys because we are almost there and we're going to start lives. We're going to start collaboration with uh, all the big channels and small channels because I love small. I was once a small channel. So everybody that want, uh, uh, want to collaborate with me, we will do it. And it's going to start next week or maybe the end of the month, depending on my work. Because I have a family to feed, guys. I need to pay some bills and I need to work. So depending on my time, I will try my best to be as regular as I can uh, with uh, other channels. Okay, enough with my self-promotion. Let's talk football because that's what I love to do. People are here for football. And I am a very shy guy. I like to do my thing behind closed doors, behind the screen, behind the camera. I let my work talk instead of me talking for me, if that makes sense. <laughs> so guys, when you finish watching this video, please go to the Hall of Fans, which is our backup channel. And watch the video I made about Kurt Zuma because apparently he's moving to Spurs. But the news kind of uh, went under the radar because Timo Werner news was trending. And Zuma, people didn't really pay attention. So go there and check on that video. Give it a like. And if you want to sub, I, I will really appreciate that. So instead of me talking, I'm going to let the legend in the Chelsea community talk. Enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Football Family Fuse. And we've got some exciting news, Zane. Read what it says on the um, yellow banner. Sky in Germany. Chelsea are favourite to sign RB Lives at striker Timo Werner with final decision expected early next week. So if I fast forward it now, so it's changed. And what does it say? What does it say now? Uh, Chelsea agreed deal in principle to sign striker Timo, Timo Werner from RB Lazak. So it says Chelsea have agreed a deal in principle, and this is coming from Sky Sports. But we're hearing it from other outlets as well. We've got so many different sources and some of the most reliable sources that you can think about. So if I go to um, Liam Twarmy, um, ZH in the bag months ago, Werner very close to done, and a left back Chilwell likely to follow. So, Zane, if you, um, we've got something, another guy, um, Fabrizio Romar, Romano, and he's very um, well informed as well. Tell me what he says. Timo Werner and his agent confirmed to Chelsea that they're ready to consider and agree details for the contract offered until June 2025. If Liverpool will not hijack the move and did nothing official yet with RB Leipzig, and Timo Werner until now, he's going to accept. Right. Chelsea. So, um, he's going to accept Chelsea, they say. Um, so, for 53 million, and that's a good deal. So, it looks like it could happen, guys, but I'm not getting too excited yet because, as I keep saying to you, Zane, until they're doing what? Until they're holding up the shirt. Holding up the shirt. They've got a picture next to Graviscova. Um, signing a contract, then I don't get excited about it. And this could also be a ploy as well, because we know that Werner, Werner, I think it's one of them, Werner wanted uh, Liverpool. Maybe this is to try and get them into action because they are not budging. They don't want to pay the buyout clause. Chelsea have triggered the release clause. 
and his agent has said they're ready to accept Chelsea's offer. So guys, this is excellent news. Really exciting news, guys. So um, he's a fantastic player. He'll be a fantastic addition to the side. Do you know what he offers? Now, now we move on to the first big story today. It's time to talk about Timo Werner, you guys. Now, Mr. Matlow himself released something on Twitter suggesting that we have agreed to sign the player. If you're asking me, it's a done deal. It's wrapped. Finito, it's done. He's going to be our player next season. And we can thank Liverpool for this because Liverpool have not really been too concrete with their interest in the player. Now, yes, he's spoken to Klopp. He's twerked for Liverpool. He's done that. We can forgive him. We can forget all that stuff. We can leave that stuff in the past, you guys. Reality is, if you're asking me, Liverpool don't have the funds to make this deal happen. I think it's the funds. And I also think it comes down to the lack of game time that Werner's going to get. You know, Liverpool was saying to RB Leipzig, listen, give us some time. Let's see how things go. We've still got a bit of time. But when you have competition for a player from other clubs, especially in this league, you need to move quick. You need to move fast. I can't believe what I'm reading. I just read some big news, people. I wasn't even meant to start this stream. I can't believe from the title. Timo Werner to Chelsea is done. It is done. He will be a Chelsea player. All journalists are talking about it right now. I'm telling you, it's going mad. It's going mad right now. I'm just reading everything. Oh my days. Timo Werner has been offered a five-year deal worth 200000 a week ahead of the 50 million move. Oh my days. Guys, I'm telling you now, everyone is reporting on this. Everyone is saying it's a done deal, man. I can't believe it. It is breaking news. I'm telling you now. He will be a Chelsea player at the start of next week. It is going to be done, people. Smash the like button if you're excited. Hi, right, Laz, how you doing? Welcome back to Baggy TV. Welcome back to my channel. You know, you make your video, you, you post it, and you think, okay, now nah, let me just read the comments. And then you get breaking news, and all of a sudden, you make another video. So this is my second upload within the hour. It is what it is, lads. Breaking news. Reports coming out of Germany that, that Chelsea are going to pay the release clause for Thibaut Warner. Chelsea are now in the process of doing that. In a deal that's worth 50 million, with a contract that's worth 10 million. Something along those lines. There's a bit of clash of, of reporting. Uh, different sources reporting different things. But in a nutshell, Chelsea are going to pay the release clause to get Thibaut Warner. And discussions are currently going on with regards to the player.